What's the cost of this? It's like far cheaper than. No, okay, cost. Yeah. Okay, this one now is uh, one thousand. Maybe you let them hold it. Wow. Is it cost? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 We also use it for feed. The feed we have there, uh, we use this for it. The feed we want to launch today. Okay. Okay. So instead of using feed meat, I mean fish meat, we use it. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The oil extracted from. Wow, wow. Yes. This yeah. one? Yes. Ah. Oh, well, food value? Oh, well, both food value, cosmetic value, and pharmaceutical value. Yes. Ah. Yes. Ah. Wow. Yes. 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 Yes, sir. We have some produce from our farm. 
these props are being purchased at the top of the house. We have and this is the end. There is no Yes. We this is for what? Then is for Okay. Yes. Now we. Yes. 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 Because people don't produce and everybody is walking around. What they start dying off. 
Although wheat flour is added a little bit, because it doesn't contain a lot of starch, so we need gluten to help it to rise. So we can also use to bake cake. So it's very delicious. If you want to cut, only the Okay. <laughs> and then we have this tea. This tea is particularly good for men. It helps for easy urination. And uh, all are local ingredients. So yeah, and it's a leaf, and it's Yes, and other local spices. <laughs> and then we have. Okay, this can you is, conclude, please? Okay, uh, black hibiscus flower, black soap. This also relaxes the body, and then this boosts the immunity. This is made from moringa. You know what moringa is? Yeah. Seven times, thousand, seven times potassium, vitamin A, and so many of them. So we can turn the tea, infuse, infuse it, and then we can take it more than twice a day. And so we welcome you to our stand. Yes. So then to Mary, to Mary is particularly very important in helps in absorption of the So we just eat it, not, not going to adhere. Please, can you round up? You are absorbing nutrients. I want to particularly give this leaf to him. Yes, because he wasn't around during my normal lecture. Again, was it the girl? Thank you so much for coming. And then, thank you for coming. Thank you. 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 We need to take them and drink yeah, like the uh, yeah. 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 Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>
invite Reverend Father Basil Epinifel to please lead us in the opening prayer. Father Epinifel, please. Let us begin this event in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we thank you for the gift of life, for the gifts of this particular institution, and I think you were Federal University of Khan. For the gift of human ingenuity, for granting all of us the grace to be able to gather here today. Here we have come to help you recreate man by enhancing the food production in the nation. The contributions we make here today will save so many people from dying. The, comp the, comp the contribution we make here today will save from many families from going down. We save from many, many individuals from making wrong decisions. Father, be the pilot of this particular gathering. Touch the souls of your servants who are gathered here to be able to come out positively in order to enhance this particular project. This is our prayer to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thank you very much. Please may we be seated. The Vice Chancellor of Sorry, Nanda Zikiwe University, Oka, Professor Charles Kukuko Simone, my dear brother, and salute you. The Deputy Vice Chancellor of Administration, Professor Joseph E. Peter, All the other principal officers of the university we are present. The Distinguished Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Tony, Senator Dr. Tony Moye, representing Anambra North Senatorial District. In the Senate, Your Majesty Igwe Boniface of Webe, Igwe Vidiga of Tobai. My friend, Igwe Omasi. Uh, I salute you. We did the Deputy Chancellor because we are here with the Vice Chancellor. So, uh, Deputy Advisor, the same thing. We are still in the academic community. We have Vice Chancellor, Mr. Advisor. So, we want to be Deputy Vice Chancellor here. So, that we have one Vice Chancellor in the University. My friend, the Reverend Father Dr. Vasil Epinito, we are officially Vice Chancellor. The member representing Anambra East and West in the House of Representatives, Honorable Peter Anakwe, alias MacP, that's what you're known with. The committee chairman, Mike the Culture, Goldie, right? Yes, from here, I salute him. Uh, the Dean, Faculty of Agriculture, Professor Cordelia Eben Eben, I, I greet you. Uh, Madam, uh, the President of the Registrar, bless you, the President of the Registrar of the University. All the high chiefs here, the red card, I recognize everybody. Heads of departments of the various departments, all the heads of departments in the faculty of agriculture, that kind of thing that conducted us around the stands during the exhibition show. We saw all of you and we are happy with uh, your commitment to duty and the explanations you gave us about the activities of the various departments. Uh, high teams, students of Unity. Greatest Nigerian students. Yes. Greatest Nigerian students. Yes. On our own world. Today is uh, a great day. We have good weather. And uh, we are happy to answer this call 
this invitation given to us to come to be part of this banquet because it has to do with uh, agriculture. Agriculture is the mainstay of any economy. Maybe we may not know, from what we have seen in the various times, it will get investors to commercialize the production of all those things we have shown this afternoon. There will be so much money to be made. So much food to make and so much food to eat. I paid attention to the explanations on every stand. Looking at the products, um, you have developed out of our natural resources. What is that? It's just like uh, all these things you see, people make billions of dollars with. They start with little ideas, these innovations, and they turn it, them into patents. People will now come and invest, and they become global uh, items. Those who develop the, the Apple computer, they just develop the program. They didn't have money to make it what it is, like the iPads to carry, iPhone to carry, and all that. Somebody just they wrote the program, wrote the program, and uh, people came and invested money and turned it into, into a trillion dollar business empire. So we're happy to be here. My, my, friend, my friends from the National Assembly, particularly uh, from all the other cities and the Senate. Uh, when Fantasy connected me to Professor Cordelia for me to come and chairman this event. I looked at it, I was very happy because agriculture is the real thing. Um, if everything is failing in Nigeria, we should not fail in agriculture because God has given us the weather, the climate, the soil, the resources, and the things that can grow even on edges on our soils. So I will contribute to the economy of this country. Uh, I'm a member of the Senate Committee on Agriculture and Rural Development. I'm also a member of the Senate Committee on Colleges of Agriculture and Institutions in Nigeria. So, I felt that this is the first uh, event I'm attending in my capacity as a member of these two important committees. <laughs> and having seen your intention, I'm not listening to the welcome address of the faculty team, but having gone around the stands, I can immediately look through her mind and know why she called us. One is to showcase, to showcase what we can achieve through agriculture. We've seen the seedlings, both palm, purple, all kinds of seedling plants that we can plant and turn them into big trees that will get fruits. If we do that in commercial quantity, it would have helped in providing the much needed things we need. I've seen the the Department of uh, Agricultural Economics and Extension, and Food Science and Technology. I've seen their products there. Um, you can agree with me that these are things we see everywhere outside. Processed foods, things you can use to have healthy living. Um, we saw the turmeric. We saw um, Flour produced in a manner that you can use them even to fight diabetes. Things you can use to help your body growth and you'll be free from those things that kill. This is the essence of this education. And we've seen them. What you need now is a partnership. There are millionaires, businessmen, 
that can be produced to these product lines and they will invest into their commercial production. They will make money and they also make money. So we commend their research spirit, the hard work you put in to develop these items. What we shall do is that I am not come here to be part of this event. We will know that the university, Namda Zuko University, has a very vibrant culture of agriculture. That can help. That can help to make things available. That the people who are entrepreneurs can invest in them. And as they produce these items in commercial quantities, the name of the university will continue to come up. So those who have developed this, you have not wasted their time. Anybody who wants to develop any of these items in commercial quantity will buy their patents and go out and uh, make billions of naira out of them. We will be the ambassadors. We will continue to talk about what we can do. We also noted that uh, the Faculty of Agriculture have an annex in the fifth of our in our local community. Nothing can be more foresighted in the transaction zone than what you have done. Because what you've done is that you've taken the faculty of agriculture nearer to the land where we can grow these crops, grow um, all manners of agricultural activities. And there is abundant land. That's where the uh, almost two people are on the and the top are sitting on the high if you look at the TV line, I remember in the 1980s when a lot of people were coming to that belt, Omasi, Zobar, I am a local government, buying uh, land almost everywhere in uh, thousands of hectares. The idea then was to convert that large arable land in this zone to contribute to our food production capacity. Many people came there, economic food farms, conscience farms, so many farms came in the 80s, but they would not pursue this thing with the necessary zeal to turn that initiative into um, the benefits of this country. So that area in the Faculty of Agriculture and Arts is the place where we should encourage investors to go so that we turn it into the food belt of the region. In July, the city of Telecom Tony Royer sponsored a motion at the Senate for the construction of the road leading from Onisha Territory through Otwacha, through Ayamalu, into Enugu States and then Kogi States. I supported that motion during the debates. And I told them that that is a very large or the explored uh, agri belt where if you have good roads, it's not about building roads for prestige. That road is an important economic road. I'm happy that uh, Nepal, the car for is here from Fema. That uh, he's also working very hard. Because I, I could see the in that road, in the last budget, there was 2.5 billion naira provision to do that road. Uh, even though the Project was tampered with. We are going to work very hard again with uh, Senator Moye in the Senate with me to ensure that that road is accommodated. I know that uh, we are doing uh, an infrastructure program for the road to roads in Nigeria. I'm a member of the Agro Committee and we are going to work hard to ensure that that belt is open to the roads. So on this note, uh, because there are other people who speak and the uh, presentation to be made by the, by the team, let me not preempt uh, the event so deeply on the hear from the faculty team. But on the whole, we are very happy to be with you. Anybody here can produce what you can eat. If you go to the uh, the exhibition, you see things you can do. The fishery department, 
the crop science department, the soil science department to aid you in preparing your soil for cultivation. Everything is there, it's very comprehensive. We'll be talking with this developer heads as we go on, so that we can develop a partnership. If there are seedlings that we can buy and distribute, we'll discuss with you and put some money to support you to produce this segment. <laughs> so, uh, as part of our programs of uh, empowering our people, who can put money, we develop the savings, we buy from you, and share to our consequence. <laughs> so, coming here today will not be in vain. We are very happy to see what you are doing, and it's for us to carry your intentions to the outer world so that your efforts will help us fight poverty. Fight poverty in Nigeria. Nigeria is in distress. And if you are waiting for the oil money to be shared for us to solve our problems, don't waste your time. It will not happen soon. The dollar is 1,015 naira now. The pound salary is 1,200 naira. When you can start a big program, you can plant these seedlings in cheap form. You won't know what they're doing until you do it in a large scale. If you buy 1,000 seedlings of popo, 1,000 seedlings of uh, uh, avocado beer, 1,000 seedlings of uh, all those plants that produce different fruits, and we put in it even in the bush. One day you see something to harvest. What in agriculture? As you know, I can't tell them the problem. Man, man. If you do your own farm, even in your backyard, you can have things to harvest, vegetables and all that. So let us take agriculture very seriously. That's my message this afternoon. Um, it's going to be the mainstay. From what they have demonstrated, agri-based industries have no limit to contributions they can make. In turning around, even the global domestic product of like, like the GDP, because all these items we have seen now can be produced in very big factories that will generate employment as well. So, Mr. VC, I congratulate you for having a very resourceful dynamic and innovative faculty of agriculture. <laughs> we will continue to come and we will continue to be part of their exhibitions. It is going to be an annual thing. We shall be coming. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you very much. People joining on Madike. Salute you and chairman. To waste the time for that because today is fast point. I won't have talked because I appreciate not to talk because the big demand has already said what I'm supposed to say. It was work and hard. But some of my seniors, let me the work seniors, say that I should talk. So my name is to thank the university. Professor uh, Simone for the attention is given to this faculty. It is one from the work of my press uh, I read and also from the comments I heard in the past, you are giving a special and unique attention to this faculty. And my senior brother for the past year, was existing, but I should talk, at least pass a comment. He said, this faculty, this annex is in my senatorial district. So let me now pass a comment. My comment is simple. I've already thanked the Vice Chancellor, thanked the Igwe of Victoria, and the other people from Victoria for having special attention and special interest on this faculty. And also, Igwe of our school is here. He's also part of Victoria, also among our people. And the process of the I can see you are saying with other members of the faculty, both students 
and the, the staff. I will see you as there. I was spoken to you maybe twice or three times on the phone. Yes. And well, the one that mostly please is that aspect of your address. Where you said that you are trying to encourage and train your students in how to write proposal for grants. Very important. I also listen attentively where you say that people desire need to mount those facilities. Those facilities and equipment that will help the faculty to be self-sustainers to be able to generate income. That is what you say. Uh, I will discuss with my brother, Senator Victor Ben. We are going to assist the faculty. Uh, to the best of our ability, this one is our goal. We are going to do our best. Also, on the issue of accommodation, you mentioned about accommodation. You mentioned about both accommodation for the students and for the staff. We are going to do our best to attract those things. And the person is going to host is for students, while the staff of us should be for the staff. We are going to do our best. We are going to also appeal to the state government. Because I'm happy that my friend, as the gold in his ear, he was PDP APC before his applied today. <laughs> and we are going to also tell him, and also tell Dr. Togo Masolugo, that he, who is our governor, he has to help the faculty. Because I'm helping calling the trade to the school. It's a state institution. But I'm a fellow of the government, I'm helping the institution. So, Professor Chu Masoludo, by God's will, we're going to tell him to help the faculty. Because the majority of the students and the members of the staff there are in agreement. And on the faculty, they are not there. Yeah, no. Okay, you go back, we don't But I know about the we who are of the federal establishment today, not about tomorrow. We are going to go out of our way to work harder to bring those infrastructures and to help in terms of that installment of this We are going to do our best within our limits to ensure that this agriculture remains one of the best in Nigeria. This will be the time. So that we see a time for that, thank you once more. And also those collaborators, the team of the faculty mentioned, some of these students we are already in top of do more. To do more is giving, more is expected. And the, another thanks to people of, if you talk about, you see Paul, my younger brother, the fellow council. I read that even Dr. Chief, my uncle of if you talk is helping with the institution, just state in Tanzania. If that is where they have nothing to gain. What they have to gain is that to be able to develop that faculty in the Victoria. They buy their number. I thank you and I will to say the job. Happy of all and all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Whatever I put my hand is the success. So that is that's the good. And people are there to do it. So you just don't shake at all. They are blessed. You just don't shake. Thank you very much, your Majesty. We should be bringing the royal blessings and contacts to help the faculty develop in the summer. Before the honorable member, Golden, speaks, there's a provision for PG in the program. They are representing you. Yes. And that's one better to the mic. Then, after you. The House Committee Chairman of the Culture will speak. On the existing protocol already established by uh, former speakers, uh, nobody can do it better than the distinguished director, uh, Victor Men, OF1. Uh, he talked that very well. And my function is very, very simple. I'm representing the PG and also representing the education committee of Ishtawai. And on behalf of the, uh, the PG and then education committee of my community, permit me to thank everybody. Thank everybody. Uh, the Vice Chancellor of
our support is not uh, limited to confirm uh, things. The, the promise we have made, yes, what we, what we have promised is that uh, we are going to get into the budget season. So all those things we were enumerated that are the needs of the faculty. We want them written, make a list of them and give us. We need it. So that when we go back to the National Assembly, the, the budgets that we prepared for 2024, through our various committee works, we see what we're able to attract for you. He's interested in trying to invest 
with some buildings, but he said that I should give one million on his behalf. So thank you for my speech. I forgot to the board. And uh, you got the right person to bring us. Uh, uh, they got to the organic people around. And that's why I'm good way. Good way to follow. And we have people coming in your name. Yeah, people. Okay, then, yes. Uh, we look part of this program. Uh, agriculture is actually the, the sector of our economy that we need to aggressively invest in to be able to help Nigeria uh, go through the economic difficulties we are passing through now. If we are able to produce what we can eat, the enough that we can eat, we have, would have solved great problems. Uh, would have uh, done so much to reduce the, the, the very challenging times we are passing through. Uh, this Faculty of Agriculture and Human Development University has taken the bull by the horn by 
being innovative. We went through the exhibition and saw what they have been able to do to uh, develop products from agri produce um, that can be commercialized. You know, if entrepreneurs come here and take any line of their discoveries and invest in it, that's how multi billion dollar businesses stand up, start to all over the world. You know, um, things that work are things that have started with, first of all, generating the idea. They have generated the idea through their research. They've produced all kinds of items here when we went around. Good merit, snails, seedlings for planting, good hybrids, and uh, bakery. Things that you can make out of farm produce. They have demonstrated them am amply here. So what is left is for us to uh, bring people who can invest in each of the line items. You, you, they can be transformed into billions of naira businesses. You know, they've done extensive research and they've come up with these things. So we're happy. As a member of the Senate Committee on Agriculture and Rural Development, and a member of the Senate Committee on the uh, Colleges of Agriculture and Institutions. We have taken note of what they can do here. Our work is to go back and see how we can accommodate their needs in the budget process of the federal government. Everything they, that we can do to support this faculty and uh, where they are in Iftogwari, uh, they have large expanse of land. So they, they, they will help in a great way to show the way. But what they have done by this exhibition is to show the way. Let us stop uh, clamoring for oil burning. You can do a lot through agriculture, you know, and it will develop our agricultural sector. Nigeria will get better from it because we are not importing anything. Our crops grow on our soil through their scientific uh, discoveries. You, you do all manners of things, including mutation, so that you can have these things uh, in abundance. So, uh, I think this uh, faculty exhibition done today is a great one. I commend the Vice Chancellor of the University that encouraged the, uh, the faculty to be very resourceful and innovative and also creative. Also commend the Dean of the faculty. Professor Cordelia Ebenega and her team. You can see the various heads of departments of uh, the various departments of the Faculty of Agriculture. Everybody is holding very firm in, in his or her own department, turning out things that will help in making life better for Nigerians. Only for us to invest. So they need support. Thank you so much. Commend them. Eh?